Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Extra Hot Forex. Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Tuesday, and uh, at the end of this video, we are going to check our economic news and see if maybe we have something. Because yesterday there was nothing, and it was Monday, a bit boring, but hey, in our group, actually, we were able to make something. At least we did make something. And we ran away with that. You see, so we are today. We started with Euro USD. What's really happening? We can easily see that the market previously, the market was uh, going down. The market was going down. I think there's people working outside, but I hope you can hear the noise. So, <coughs> sorry, sorry guys, sorry guys. <coughs> So the market uh, actually was pushing lower. This was a very nice downtrend. So now the market is doing what is the market already changed the trend. And now the market is going up. So let's check that. Let's check uh, check this up trend closer because previously our trend line was moving uh, like this. Guess what? The market actually broke out here, pushed lower, and now it's coming back. So how do you deal with this type of of the market i will tell you how you deal with that so if the, the the trend line this support line is broken mostly i will be using double line uh, that should be a bit thicker zone so for you to not get confused we're going to use the area where the market was respected you see this area this is the area that the market respected also this support is the one that obviously it was respected so once the market goes beyond or above this area you can see there once the market goes be above this area to me is the market is back on this structure so the market is back on that bullish momentum so what about this line going up remember those were broken already so it means this is supposed to be around like this these lines they're supposed to end there and on the bottom side we have to mark this support area remember i'm using four hours time frame so you can easily see that so don't confuse yourself now we can say okay the market is doing what the market is now pushing back on our uptrend i guess the dollar is getting weaker i guess the dollar is getting weaker and actually we we're supposed to buy this I just see it now we were supposed to have a buy pending order then i'm expecting the market to push up above here we have a, a resistant so that maybe we can say if the maybe the market reaches that area we have to think twice uh, but there is a chance for the market to break out you see there is a chance for the market to break out so let's push to the next one we don't actually have to uh, make this video very long so this is something like this we are on gbp usd what's really happening straightforward you can easily see that yes as i've been repeating the market has been pushing to the upset but we have this crazy crazy bullish momentum and i think the market might end up uh, coming back and uh, just to uh, cancel this type of a move the market might reverse but uh why where we are now we can easily see that the market is creating a sort of of a downtrend actually we have a resistant but we are still on that so uh, on that uptrend so for you to not get confused i will just clear this and you will now see that we have a support area here so now our structure is actually a wedge and we see that the market is now getting out of that so we will wait for this just to close then we can now continue doing what continue buying if the market did uh, maybe the opposite it means the market was going to actually break the support area and we were going to think about selling uh sorry guys this it's cold and i have the sinuses uh so yeah 
So I'm expecting the market to do what? To keep pushing to the upside, especially when I can easily see that the market is breaking out. If we go on a smaller time frame, I think we're going to see that maybe the market is already breaking. You can see that the market broke out. So which means actually when I stop this video, I'm supposed to have a nice buy pending order. Already I have some few trades. We have some few signals. That's why I don't really want to send like so many signals uh, at the same time so we might have something like this and i think we might eat from that so i will leave this and see if maybe the market will try to go in our favor i will check that today we're going to go on our live session and see what's really happening so now on gbp jpy uh, this G uh, great british pound guys is getting stronger and stronger so what's really happening is the market is continuing with that bullish momentum you can easily see that from a uh, back here uh, the market has been actually flying and it seems like the market wants to continue with that you can see back here you if you did check my previous analysis you saw enough but with this type of move i'm still expecting the market to sell but since the market is still respecting my structures it means i'm still going to follow what the structure is creating on top here i see a very nice area maybe you can see this level here that level to me is actually a resistant. So on that resistant, I'm just going to make sure that I mark this area and say if maybe the market get out here, if the market breaks this resistant, I will be ready to continue buying. But even if I'm going to buy, I'm going to be extra careful because the market has been flying for quite some time. So there is a room for the market to reverse. Even though we have to follow the structure, uh, if the market breaks, we can buy, but uh, to me i can just hit and run i don't really see me I, I don't really see myself holding longer especially after this long uh, push i think the market can easily reverse and i don't really want to be uh, in that situation you see so now we are on gold precious metals precious metal guys What's really happening? The market is still struggling. You can see gold is still struggling to push the upside. But for now, it's just playing around the same area. But we saw it the time it was actually pushing lower and lower and lower. And now it's starting to do what to struggle. So what I see here is the market had some area where it's actually struggling around that area but i'm just waiting actually for the market to reach this resistance before i look uh, for that sell for now the market is just going up down up down but we all know that remember we are on a downtrend so 90 percent of the time the market will be selling so it means bullish momentum is not really enough because you can see the market starting from top there and now the market it's going down even if we see a reversal at the end of the day the market might keep pushing lower so when you buy or when you scalp think about that guys think about that don't just buy and forget especially on a downtrend but if maybe uh, you want to sell i can say yes you can sell and forget i think maybe we'll find the market still pushing lower but sometimes sometimes uh, we can still sell and the market still punch us in the face that is possible the market does something like that and most of the time you see sometimes you follow the rules but not every day where the market will just respect whatever that we do i hope you understand that so we are actually on this confusing structure of us 30 if you check here back there the market was giving us this sort of a downtrend the market was going down very nice guess what we have this crazy push the structure is not really clear everything's just crazy everything's just crazy you can see that the market created something like that obviously uh, we thought maybe the market was going to push to the upside very nice but guess what uh, we got a, a very nice resistance here then the market broke out uh, we broke out of this area and we did wait for a little bit because we also had another structure, a horizontal support that we were not going to avoid. We took a very smaller sell. Now the market doesn't really want to continue. It seems like the market will end up pushing to the upside. It seems like that. It seems like the market will end up pushing to the upside. But for us here, it's very clear. If maybe the market breaks above this, uh, this resistance, uh, it was a support before it means 
we will take a very nice buy if it breaks this area. I hope you see that this is US day too, by the way. But uh, for now, we just have to wait for a breakout. Sometimes US day can be way too slow, especially, especially uh, uh, before before the market opens. But uh, we will check what's really happening with some economic news. Uh, let me remove that for now. So what's really happening on Nasdaq? We can easily see that yes, the market actually is uh, on a very nice bullish momentum, and the market has been flying, guys. The market has been flying for quite some time. I've been repeating about that. So let's go on the structure where we are now on the current structure. So we saw a very nice sell. Uh, we had something like a support around this area. The market did not really care about that. So, but we have another area here which I think you can see. So I'm expecting the market to do what to respect this area and push up and we already in a smaller profit we already took these trades that's why if you want to be part of the team it's 99 dollars just whatsapp me telegram me you can check on the description you'll find my contacts or my whatsapp link so what's really happening here is the market actually just uh, respected this support area it seems like it's respecting that now i'm just expecting the market to push the upside but if you check the structure on top there it seems to be trying to create something like something like this something like that do you see that so if maybe we're gonna have a buy we're going to think twice around 4900 there but there is a room for the market to break and still to uh, push the upside and i think that maybe we will see it uh, when the market opens or later when we go on our live session so don't forget to smash that notification button also so that when we go on our live session you don't miss that so uh i think we covered enough let's see the time yeah I, we covered enough so don't forget to smash the like subscribe like share with your friends this is Kenzo XS Raho to Forex. See you later on. Bye.